shall we? Oh, am I so tell me about yourself. No, um, what's up, guys? This Hi. is mixed messages. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back, and this is the platform where I interview mixed kids, mixed people, just like me, and you maybe. And my guest today is Anisha. Anisha. What's your ethnic background? Okay, uh, so my dad is from Vietnam. My dad is Vietnamese by blood, and my mom she's from Cambodia. Talk Kamos. to me too. <laughs> oh my god. So your dad is your dad's Vietnamese. My dad is Vietnamese. My yeah. mom she's from Comoros, Comoros Island. So it's an island close to Madagascar, and it's in the Indian Ocean. It's part of Africa. Yeah. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Paris. I was born and raised in Paris. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Because I know I know you. You like. Travel all over the world and lived in many places. So I lived in Paris for like 21 years, 22 years. Then I lived in London for half a year, and then I went to Hong Kong for half a year, and then South Africa for half a year, and then now I <laughs> stay with me. <laughs> it's almost done. Now I'm in Hong Kong. I've been in Hong Kong for almost three years. Yeah. And now you're in America. And now I'm in America. I'm was, in it to, was it to escape the uh... <laughs> the coronavirus? Yeah. Hell yeah. That was so were people going crazy out there? Yeah, people are really. So in they were they were wearing masks. Everybody's wearing masks. There's no more rice in the supermarket. There's no more toilet paper. Like it's really hard to find all There's that. There's no paper. rice. There's no more rice. Well, look, you know what? I just went to 99 Ranch yesterday. They got rice over there. Oh, then everybody should come. You stock here. up rice and then go right back to Hong Kong. Sell that shit for like. That's gonna be a business. For yeah, I'm gonna make a lot of money. For like 300 percent more. I'm not, I'm not that mean, but... That's not mean, that's a bit... Anyway, we're going to that. So what was it like? What was it like growing up in, in, in Paris? Paris? Like, what was the demographic of the community that you were Okay, so it was like maybe 60 to 70 percent of French white people. Okay. And then the West was pretty diverse, actually. So there was a lot of um, Arabic, uh, African, um, even like other type of European, like Spanish, uh, Italian and stuff. So it's pretty, like it's, it's a melting pot. But I would say, I wouldn't, I, I've never found anyone who, who's like, a bit like me, right? Who's like yeah. half black, half Asian. Usually most of the people, they're like, okay, European mix, like uh, Spanish and French, you know, or maybe like Morocco and Morocco, from Morocco and Algeria. But like those extreme, uh, these extreme countries, no, I've never like encountered anybody like that. Do people say that you will never age because you're black and Asian? Literally. Like black don't crack. But they say about Asians is that you don't age until you get to 70 and then you look like a wrinkly pear. Did they say that to you? I just made that up. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. No, I guess like, uh, they're, they're like a bit jealous because they're like, oh god, you got some black in you, some Asian in you, oh, you will never, never. What do yeah. people think you are when they see you? That's a good question. Yeah. So yesterday when I was in the car, in the lift, somebody, the driver told me, oh, when I, when I first hear you speaking, I thought you were European, but then I look at your face and I'm like, no, she must be African. And I'm like, oh, uh, that's interesting. And then he was like, and I think you have an African accent, by the way. And I'm like, oh, that's even interesting. Well, that's interesting because I'm from Paris. <laughs> I'm from Paris, actually. <laughs> yeah, literally. So the people think, like for example, yourself, you thought that I was from the Caribbean, right? No, you didn't tell me. No, my I, accent was from. I there. thought you were Caribbean. I thought you were from Barbados, like, <laughs> like Rihanna. Rihanna. Like Rihanna. Like Rihanna. Like Rihanna. I'm not. I'm just gonna where stop where doing where accents because it's so bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, how did you get into dance? How did I get into dance? Uh, I was five years old. I was watching those Michael Jackson in. It's in Paris. In Paris. Well, in yeah. Paris, yeah. And, and Britney Spears videos. <laughs> so uh, Michael Jackson and Britney Spears. And Britney Spears. No, for real, I really loved her at, at that time. At that time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh shit, like, this is so inspiring. I really wanted it the same way. Like, they look so cool. And, and then there was Ciara as well, and all these people. Uh, and I was like, oh wow, I need to get into that. So I started dancing, I started with ballet though. Were there, any, were there any Blasians or black people in those classes or any color Ooh. in Paris? No, it was mostly white people. It's like mostly, honest. yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, maybe I don't feel right in the right place. Well, so let me try some hip hop, you know. So I started dancing yeah. hip hop and then it was more. And then you got into Afrobeats. 
Not me, no, yeah. Now I'm gonna say Ooh, Afro Beats. Gotta check this girl out. <laughs> I'm gonna link her Instagram. She can dance. Afro Beats feels so good because I feel like. When it's so connected to the music, you know. When you listen to it, you're like, oh wow, I feel something so good, I'm gonna let my body group to it. There's no I like rules, you know. <laughs> That's not it, is it? That's not it. It's, That's we, not we're gonna it. train together. I'm too far away from Africa. Like, your mom is from Africa. Yeah, maybe this I gotta day. tap back into tap back into that. Come one day. I come. think the time. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Come spend some time in South Africa and then people will think that you're colored and they will stop to you and then yeah, you'll speak with your accent. Home. Exactly. Yeah. And then until you speak with your American until accent, they'll be like, uh -huh. like you ain't like, that boy. You ain't. Yeah. <laughs> I can just pretend I'm mute. Like I can't speak. Exactly. Don't say anything. Just be there. <laughs> and then the guy girl. Just start dancing. <laughs> and then be like, ah, no, dude, no, you're no, not from that's here. Not it. <laughs> That's not it either, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Good try. I can't fit it anywhere. Where do you feel where do you feel most at home? Where do you feel oh, on the planet? Like on yeah. Earth? Uh, like <laughs> Where else? <laughs> yeah, where where on the planet Earth do you feel at most at home? Um that's an interesting question because I guess it really it really depends on so throughout my life I felt like I was home between when I was like zero to 20 years old, I felt like Paris was my home. Because like, okay. that's the only place that I ever lived in. And yeah. I, I did travel all around the world, but I felt like that's where all my friends were. I felt more familiar. I know the language. Um, I feel safe and comfortable there, right? But then since I started living outside, like since I started living in, uh, for example, London, but also South Africa, I felt like I have some connections to these other cultures, especially South Africa, where like, it's so mixed, you know. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. so many. There's black. There's white. There's mm. Asian. There's everything. So I felt like, oh wow. Yeah. Like and there's mostly black people, right? Because it's yeah. in Africa. So I felt like, oh wow. There's something interesting about this country is that so many people from different color and different cultures are living together in one country and in maybe I don't know. I feel I feel connected somehow. Connected somehow, some way. But then I started living in Hong Kong because I was trying to like get to know more about my Asian side. So I went there and I felt like there was another connection that was okay. there because there's a lot of different things that reminded me of like my childhood. For example, uh, Chinese food, Vietnamese food, uh, the chopsticks things, you know, like, uh, yeah, I've been using chopsticks during like throughout my whole life. So I felt like, oh, wow, this place is familiar too. So I feel like it really depends on, I don't know, like, if I see similar things that I've seen, like, in my childhood and when, like, yeah, throughout all these years, I'm like, okay, this is a place I can call home. So it could be Hong Kong, it could be South Africa, it could be maybe Los Angeles, who knows, it depends on the people I'm hang hanging out with, you know? Like, if you feel that you have a lot of similarities, a lot of, uh, I don't know, for example, you and I, we love talking about culture, we love talking yeah. about, like, deep, you know, topics like that. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like I'm connected to you as well, mm -hmm. even if we're, we know we're Blasian, right? But there's yeah. something that is super... I don't know. Don't you feel that too? I feel that. No, I definitely feel that because as a Blasian, you know, as a, as a full Asian or as a full uh, black person, there's connections that you have with other full black people, True. full Asians, you know. But because but we as have. a Blasian, like that's our this is our race. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like this true. is our one thing. So talk, I feel like anytime I meet another Blasian, it's like, oh, you already understand, like on a whole. I don't have to explain, level. I feel yeah. safe, uh, yeah. I won't get any judgment or yeah. like some questions, weird questions. There's a short like, hand that we have already. Exactly, you know? exactly. Like, like, do people not, you know, well, I wanted to ask you, like, when you went to Hong Kong, did you feel, because this is how I felt when I went to Shanghai, I felt like I would feel more accepted than I actually did actually feel when I got there. When I go to Vietnam, they don't even think that I'm, like, Vietnamese. They're like, mm -hmm. huh? What that's is this hair? Like, what is... That's what I'm talking about. So, when I go to Comoros Islands, so my mom's country, like, I feel like I'm not black enough, for okay. example. Anywhere I go, it's hard to feel accepted because we, we always, I mean, we're different. And there's no place, there's no country, like, called the Blasian country. There's no country where you... called Blasia. <laughs> exactly, or Blasia. Or whatever. Yeah. There's no country like that, so I feel like well, We need to make one. We'll just kidnap all the Blasians away Literally. from their full... They're full Asian and full black parents. Uh -huh. And we'll just throw them on this this landmass. We'll call it Blasia. 
we were for, that would be dope actually like if, even for one day imagine like all together we'd be like oh that'd wow. be crazy yeah let's create that let's do yeah, like we a gotta create that. Thing. yeah we're gonna create that in in closing what do you want to say to people that are mixed or just people wow it's already done oh my god yeah. uh what do i want to say um to other Blasian babies like us um <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, it's okay if you're not accepted anywhere you go. <laughs> it's okay if people look at you and they feel like you're an alien, you know, it's all right. Uh, as long as you are aware of how special you are, as long as you're aware that you are unique and there's no one like you, right? Because everybody's unique, you know, but we are even more unique, right? I feel like you're speaking to me. <laughs> I start crying pretty soon. No! So, yeah, I'm yeah. like... No, that's such a rich thing to be like, I mean, especially like Ryan and us, like we know we have that African culture, uh, we have that black culture, we have that Asian culture, but we also have that American and French culture. So we have like three cultures at the same time, you know, it's crazy, right? Uh, so just embrace that, embrace the diversity, embrace who you, are, who you are and you'll be even stronger and you'll even shine even, even more and people will look at you like, wow, that aura is like magical, like um, this person is like somebody, like, you know? Shining. Yeah. You see her shining. Mm -hmm. I'm shining. Bye, guys. Bye.